Okay, so we can see just in the room, at least we've got most of us have heard about biz before we, and some of us even read newsletters, but we also have some people who've never heard of biz before. Okay, but let's start. Um, so firstly, thank you for joining us today. My name is Tedal Christians and I own and manage Success by Design. This is a business consultancy specializing in developing sustainable growth strategies that optimize processes and service design for productivity and profitability for service-based businesses. Now, as part of a COVID initiative, we also offer free webinars and share our knowledge and ways of improving businesses to the greater business community. And this webinar is part of that. Today, we're going to focus on resources that we can access within the B2B client database and how we can grow that database. And one of the biggest free resources that we have is Biz Community, which is actually the largest free digital re media resource in Africa. And joining us today very generously from Biz, we have Clarina De Freitas. Clarina herself is the new business uh, manager at Biz, and she has over 14 years experience in digital marketing with a collective 26 years in sales. And I'm sure this lady could tell us quite a few things there. Um, she, she's got a great background in terms of marketing, media, uh, ICT, and different industries. She's also previously was the national recruitment specialist for them. And she's going to be sharing her knowledge with us today in terms of how we can use uh, Biz Community as a resource for us and building our businesses. Clarina, thank you for being with us. Hi, Tito. Thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. And thank you so much for what you are doing for the industries. Um, but just, you know, um, having this sort of networking sessions. And so I really appreciate that. And welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Claudine. And thank you to everybody for being here. So guys, um, we are going to try and be as interactive as possible. Clarina's presentation is going to be about 15 minutes in terms of how we can use Biz, but we will do a poll in between that as well. And then we'll also network and there'll be a prize at the end instantly in this actual webinar for um, the person who wins that networking session. So prep your one minute about your company and what you have to offer, because you never know, you might just meet a client today or a future supplier. Okay, so Clarina, could you start us off by telling us what is Biz? So Biz Community is a homegrown, independently owned media company in Africa. It is a community where individuals, companies, organizations, and brands can take control of the daily corporate communications. It is an indispensable platform for brand awareness, brand marketing, advertising, business news and reputation management, which is really important. I mean, we've been serving daily corporate news in Africa to the world since 2001. And here's a fun fact, right? That we were established five years prior to social, before social media was even born. And it is one of the very first in Africa and one of its first in its kind in South Africa. And so this community is your gateway to business um, partners. It's also the hub for business connectivity, networking, trade, and business establishment. Okay, thank you for that. You know what I find most interesting about this community, especially given how things has changed in the pandemic times, we've also had a lot of um, media outlets go behind paid walls, like a certain amount of their content is behind paid walls. This community, though, has remained 100% free. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. I mean, I mean, since inception of this, I think that the whole idea behind it was to help the business community and, and get them connected. And I think that was really the heart of the founder, that um, things would be given away for free for people to come to the resource and just drink from that fountain. Okay. Can you tell me a bit about the target audience for Buzz, please? 
So our target audience is made out of tech savvy business professionals, decision makers, economically active and trained doctors. Majority of our readers are females and talking about 55% of our total reach. And our readers, most of our readers have university degrees and 26% have college diplomas. And most of our readers earn more than 50,000 Rand per month. And this ultimately shows you just the buying power and the business mindset of this community, of our community. Wow, that is that is fantastic to know. So as you could see with our poll earlier, not a lot of us attending actually have a great amount of knowledge about biz. So can you help me as a business, as a B2B business, what can I use biz for? So I'm just going to share um, about four tips with you on how you can leverage the power of this. And I'm going to base this on a client that I met about four years ago in actual fact at a business event and I saw how her business went from and I mean even at the time she was even indecisive whether or not she should open the business or start the business mm -hmm. and after meeting with her she eventually said okay this is what she's going to do and with nine months in nine months uh, she employed 10 employees and she has seen the benefit I mean just work for so well so I'm going to start with um, tip number one tip number one is the power of connecting on this community. And so how we're going to do that is we are going to create an account or a profile, which is free. Mm -hmm. From that, it gives you various opportunities to continuously add relevance to the industry and to set yourself apart as a thought leader. From my account, you will be able to submit news, events, galleries, new appointments, new business announcements, and even like um, a very standard free business listing, as well as multimedia, your YouTube videos can go on there. And even if you feel like you want to contribute content to the industries, you are free to do so. And our editors will just obviously have a glance at it and see if that news is newsworthy. This also helps in terms of your search engine optimization, your search engine marketing um, reach, and this is so crucial in the digital world. Um, tip number two is the power of reading. And to subscribe to our daily newsletters is like gold, but more so specifically in the industry that we that is relevant to your business. For example, daily agriculture stock stories impacts directly on retail news and retail on logistics and logistics on automotive, e-commerce and finances, etc. Every sector from time to time needs to dip into the know-how um, of another and there is no sector that will not benefit from the resources of our business communities. We have over 18 um, business industries on the site and our newsletters are compiled with business articles where businesses actually make the news, events, jobs, and the how-tos. This is then led the articles and, and the power also, I want to uh, uh, just elaborate on this a small bit, is that within an article, you can e extract information that is so relevant, compile a database and search for leads. This is another great magnet um, in terms of, of leads research. Tip okay. number three. Mm -hmm. Tip number three is the power of networking. We have a various event pages, and on our event pages, there are different events that are listed. Some are for free, and some you can attend. Uh, she, I mean, this client started attending bi-weekly events, and I know with COVID, you know, there is virtual events, and it costs you nothing to attend to these things. And, and that is how she actually got recognized as an industry influencer, just by pitching up um, and, and attending those. I mean, there's so much power in it. Okay, so those three so far, do you have another one? Those are my top three, three. And I would also say, you know, there's so much resources. Biz is known to be a, a, a resource center. So if you have even special reports that you want to read about, you can actually go onto the site and, and read more and dig um, deep into it. You will find um, what is trending for the day. You will find what is, um, there's also in terms of, um, 
if you are looking for a job specifically, even you can even go onto our site for for using that um, for purpose sake. I mean, one of the one of the big things that I know about Buzz is that they do um, annual trend reports, and what's quite special is it's cross sectors and it's throughout Africa, which is which is very useful um, that I've seen. I mean, I just want to come back to one of the points that you mentioned. You know how it's important for us to stay up to date um, across sectors. If we look at COVID, right? immediately all of our medical facilities were busy but nobody ever thought to realize that the printing section would be busy as well because somebody had to display the rules somebody had to make those changes the impact on its own just uh, rippled across all the different industries so you're 100 right there i mean it's, it's definitely that you need to stay updated so uh tell me what are some of the latest trends the biggest trends that you're seeing Okay, so annually we have a special um, trend focus report that goes on on our site and that normally happens in January. We normally have this huge big trend events and we have, you know, just um, influencers that would speak in and around trends for different industries. I think so much has changed and so many things have accelerated. And a lot of people have been saying that in terms of technology, um, we've accelerated five years in six months um, since lockdown started. So with that accelerated trajectory, it's going to have a ripple and a knocked on effect of a lot of things here. I think um, in the words of Gion Chang specifically, I, I mean, he mentions after 2020, he thinks it's important for brands to have a sense of value or integrity or some kind of model compass because the world has changed so radically. So he says that every business needs to relook really what they do, what their business model is, what they stand for. Customers are no longer where you thought they were and they might not be admitting what you thought you were selling to them. It's that kind of massive change of are you selling to the right thing, to the right people and where are they and what do they need? I think the biggest trends would be for brands to re definitely relook really at women, um, data, Gen Z, and we've also seen the, the sudden um, surge of, of e-commerce uh, specifically. But I think that the one thing that really stood out for me is brand authenticity. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, this trend has been coming on for quite a while now in terms of ensuring that your brand um, is displaying the correct values and aligned to its customer segment in terms of what they stand for from a value and a principle perspective. A very strong trend definitely coming through from the international market. Tell me, um, okay, so we've covered basically four tips that you've given out. I'm going to launch a poll um, to everybody in our audience. And I actually want you guys to tell us out of the four tips that were mentioned, which one do you find to be most useful? So coming up on your screen now should be a poll. And I just like to see what, ah, what everybody's thinking. Come, we've got 20 seconds, 19, 18, 10, 7, put down the sandwich, 8, 3, 2, 1. Okay. She results. Okay, so can everybody see that? What you what we see is definitely attending events has worked. I mean, whether it's virtual or not. Um, obviously, in person is everybody's first preference, but we do what we can right now. I'm sure we've all learned to adapt as, as best as possible. Um, okay, so can I ask you, what is the biggest myth about Biz that you find? So the biggest myth that we find about this community is that we're an all jobs portal and I just and that we solely just for marketing and media content. And that is so um, not right. I mean, we publish news for 19 industries, 18 industries specific, and so we're more a news provider than what we are a jobs portal. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, and, and what is the biggest tip that you can give as Biz community to us B2B business people in 2021? Um, the, so the biggest tip is just be 
authentic in terms of your brand and where that is really reaching and where that is going. I think the business biggest step is to develop multiple business strategies to prepare your business for next the next economic um, decline. And I don't want to sound like a prophet of doom, but multiple strategies are required and there's no one size fits all formula that works for different circumstances. I think that you should have regular meetings with your stakeholders to discuss market continues and any signs of an economic crisis. I think scenario planning is so important in this day and age and especially within business. I completely agree with you. We need to put more time aside to think about different scenarios in America, especially, I mean, we're based in South Africa, we have infrastructure issues, we have water issues. Oh, we even have weather issues these days. Don't know what weather yeah. it's gonna be. Um, we, I'm, I'm, I've asked in the chat box that we start to put some questions down, Claudina, for you sure. about this. Um, we do have one question that's come through so far. It's, it's from Paul West and he asks, can anyone submit business articles or news briefs to Biz? Um, yes, you can, as long as it's not too self-promotional. Anything that's self too self-promotional, they will definitely put a handbrake on it. But if, if it puts, if it's um, relevant to the industry and it is making a change in a the difference, they will definitely publish the news and business articles. Okay, that's good to know. And I think, um, Paul, what we will do as part of this release, I'll send out an email afterwards and Clarina will give me the email address and so forth, the details where you can submit those articles to, okay? Because you definitely want to share your knowledge and that helps get you noticed as well in the market. Any more questions from anybody? Please put them in the chat box. Wow, Clarina, you've done such a, ah, there we go. Ah, from M, M. Smith, oh, an architectural group. My business is very local uh, based. Would Biz benefit me here my, in my small town of George? Um, I think business, I think when you look at business, you're not supposed to look at just looking at from a small town perspective, but rather from a, a, a larger um, geographical perspective. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so important and yes, we can definitely do so. We do have a property industry that you can do your research on and even just, you know, I think that just list your business there because anyone can search for you and when they find you, I'm sure that they will find your details on the um, in George. Yeah, I mean, I just want to say to M. Smith there, if I was living outside of George and I wanted to build a home, a holiday home in George, and I don't know who the local architects <laughs> are, I would definitely say it would be to your benefit to have a listing um, online uh, with Biz as well, because it's free, and advertise mm -hmm. the fact that you're a local architect in George. Yeah, um, I just, um, Dino, just one thing on, on George's question. Um, you know, like you mentioned it so well in terms of just researching. And yeah. that is why it's important to have yourself on it um, for that research purposes, you know. Else nobody would know that you exist. <laughs> That's very true. You have to be known, guys, <laughs> digitally. Okay, we've got one, two more questions, and then we're going to start our networking session. The first one is, again, Paul, is Biz free? And the answer to that, Ladina? It's not totally free. It's free to subscribe to our newsletters and to read our content and things like that. But they are free services, like um, part of the listings um, and all those things that I mentioned prior to that, like the the uh, some events are free, some other things. But they are paid for section. And if you want to leverage more within the particular community that you're in, um, we then work out certain campaigns for you. And we specifically then targeted to our audience. We also have a various other products, which includes like um, what we call the press office, which gives you a complete, or the buzz office, which gives you a complete 360 on um, to use various things from content to display advertising, mm -hmm. to promote things um, using that particular product, yeah. 
Okay, thanks for that. So basically everything that Clarina mentioned before is free. You do have a free listing and you have a paid listing and maybe we can just include some information um, after this in what we send out. The, the last question I'm gonna take before we start the networking is what platforms is Biz Community on and where do you list your business? I think in part, we might need to send out some sort of info, but Clarina, do you just wanna answer that question? So what platforms they are obviously on, it's, it's, a, it's a house on its own. And um, so the industries that we do serve, um, and I'll just mention it quickly um, to, to the user, is anything from marketing and media, agriculture, automotive, construction, engineering, CSI and sustainability, education and mining, my favorite entrepreneurship, <laughs> finance and insurance, um, healthcare, human resources and management, IT and telecommunications, legal, lifestyle entertainment, logistics and transport, manufacturing, property and real estate, retail, tourism, travel, hospitality and hospitality. Okay. Um, so these are all the industries that we cover and um, yeah, I hope that answers that question. That's fantastic. Okay, now guys, Remember, we have a networking competition. What's going to happen now? Because part of the reason why you want to join a webinar is you also want to network with other people here to see possibly if it could lead to a client.